I want to take this moment to thank my patrons publicly in my video. Thank you for your trust learning with me. It means a lot to me. Since the first day of 2018, I already started publish one video every day. And I want to keep it for the remaining of this year even longer. As soon as I reached my first goal, which is 250 members on patrons.com, I will start making oil painting lessons. I'm looking forward to add oil painting lessons into my YouTube channel. Okay, the first step of this portrait painting is not about the details. Most of the time when you see a painting looks great and move you, impact you, it is because the collected of colors in the painting create a strong feeling. I'm going to use my one inch big flat brush. And by the way, if you're still not quite sure how to find the materials that I have been using in my videos, you just go to enjoyingart.com, look a little bit lower on the page, you will see the link. And then when you click on the link for the materials, you will see most of the material that I use in my videos. How we are going to create the big compositions. You can start anywhere. You can start from the background, you can start from the face, anywhere you want. I'm going to start from this corner. I'm going to get the blue color. It looks like some blue color over there. Put the color in really quickly. And there is also some warmer color. So I'm gonna put this color over here too. And just keep it going. It's important to make yourself excited through this painting process. So I'm gonna go to the right side. Get a little yellow color first over here and make a because right in the wet everything looks really soft. By the way, the paper that I'm using for this painting, it is this Arches uh, Cold Press 140 pound. So I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color over here too. It just blend it in, mix it right on the paper. I'm gonna get a little bit darker color next to the face, just for now. So far, I'm only used the three primary colors I've been using. Probably gonna also introduce other materials. Now I'm gonna quickly come into the hair and the face. Uh, the hair, I'm gonna put a little bit blue color first for seeing the uh, light color of the skull. Now I'm going to start going into the face area. And how to mix the skin tone. I'm going to get this red color. I may go into, it looks very close to the burned sienna. So I'm going to add the burned sienna into this color, into the red. And that looks pretty close. If you want a little bit colder, and I'm going to add a little bit blue color into the mix. That looks okay, so I'm gonna start it right here. It looks pretty close. So when I get into the ear, it has a little bit more of the burnt sienna. So I'm gonna add that color in here. The hair over here is gonna be darker than the skin, so I'm gonna just, okay, now I'm gonna come back to the face. I don't wanna let it dry so quickly. So I'm gonna squint your eye as you paint so you can get an idea of how light, how dark that would be. I'm not going to touch into that a wet paint at this point. I'm just going to paint it over. And you can see that the color now get into uh, the space of the eye. That would be fine. And the lower lip over here have some highlights. I'm going to leave that for white. Okay, I'm going to keep going over here. As I'm coming down over here, seems a little bit darker colors. I'm going to get a little bit burnt sienna. I'm going to lift up a little bit edge, make this a little bit softer. Now this is good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it going, coming down over here, get a little bit darker colors. So now I'm going to introduce the blue color into here and get a lot of red. 
and have the bone sienna serve as the additions of yellow color coming from uh, because the brown color already has uh, the yellow and the red so I'm going to come down over here the base color still not there yet so I'm going to have a little bit darker color and just this color probably dark enough for underneath the skin color when it next to when the color next to a dark color it looks very light when you squint the eye you can see the true value of that color it should be darker okay I'm gonna get a little more color okay now that's good now that's the good color coming into this area and now this is good now what I want to do now I'm gonna come back to the hair now I'm gonna work it into the hair so my working process is kind of going into a rotation to the background coming to the face coming to the hair and the shoulder and then I'm gonna coming back to go into the hair and then working around and your attention always focus on how all those color actually compose together to create a unique impression and matching to the feeling at this moment we're gonna go into mix the very dark color for the hair now I'm gonna start over here you see this color pretty dark but after it dried may not be dark enough at this point we just try to get the color all together on the page to finish my first round and then we're going to see how we're going to adjust it after this stage I'm going to remove a little bit texture so now this is good I just get to the point I'm going to make a stop I'm going to let the whole painting dry and let all the color settle I'm going to come back to do the judgment we'll be back now the painting getting drier and the color already settled so I'm going to come in to do the big adjustment I'm going to use the flat brush to soften some edges I'm going to have this a little bit lighter and I'm going to go into to have this warm brown colors mixed with the burnt sienna and the red colors I'm going to put it right on the edge over here and maybe a little colder don't want to be that intense now coming down a little bit as the base of this color and like that now create a little bit softer now what I want to do now I'm going to start laying down some light colors to create a structure so I'm going to change it to my number 12 round brush and I'm going to have to squint my eye to see how dark the color is supposed to be and I think this is, would be the right colors and around the eye area yeah, like this don't looking into the eyes the nose yet I'm going to get a little bit of this little fresh colors and coming over here to let it transition coming down now coming outwards at the same time I'm going to actually add a little warm brown colors actually inside the eye over here just to prepare for my next step and I'm going to the other side uh, to the other eye I'm going to come here to add this triangle okay now I'm going to keep moving forward to the nose area and get a little blue so with these three colors you can very much control what the everywhere of the skin color and coming down we're looking for to create a structure a little bit coming up here and coming to the side of the nose to the lips at this point and doesn't need to be so dark make it a little lighter and there you go use this one inch flat brush 
Now what I want to do first, I'm going to smooth a little bit on the cheek. Now, I'm going to come over here too. I want to remove some of the texture over here. I don't want it. I'm going to create a little bit illusion of uh, the light on the hair coming down. And that is good. Now I'm going to also come to make a little adjustment. The whole ears can be a little bit dimmer. So I'm going to just use this brown color. Maybe a little bit warmer. Now let's see. I'm going to walk into inside the eye to prepare that. I'm going to use this number 12 brush. Now I'm going to get this color for the upper eyelid. Okay. I can see this color that in here see that if a little bit colder than this color easy just get a little blue colors that mix into it okay like that that's good and I'm gonna get a little bit warmer maybe even a little red at a corner but the eyelid and now I'm gonna set a bit of colors on the nose a little bit warmer so this scar will be the right colors. Like this. I'm going to start making a little sharper separation between the hair to the chin. Because the chin really pop a little more than that. Okay. Now I'm going to make this dark purple color. And it will look really dark. To create a separation that's good now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I'm gonna over here make sure the color is already dry in the area there's a little dry brush suggestion necklace okay this was good now I'm gonna come back to working into the eye uh, we mix a little darker color with the burnt sienna and the red and the blue colors. That, that's good. I'm going to come in here. Like that. Good. And add a little bit red at the corner of the nose, right here. Now this painting is finished, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next lesson.